We live in an era in which you can learn just about anything using excellent, freely available resources online. My objective then as an instructor is to not only think about what is the best way students can learn in class, but also how to set them on a path that they will continue to learn using these excellent resources, either during the course or even after the course. The idea is to excite and engage them in a way that sparks their intrinsic motivation to learn. There are of course many tools available. You can use active learning, flip classroom mode, learning by doing, learning from real life examples, sometimes using fear of failure, or sometimes creating a sense of mystery, a sense of adventure around the learning process or helping them see the underlying beauty in these concepts. I have taught the second year core course on dynamics and vibrations for a few years now. And I would try to bring in many of these elements, oftentimes by bringing in simple experiments in the classroom. We one time had students bring a cat to the classroom so that we could study and conduct experiments on conservation of angular momentum in the falling cat problem. We of course took due ethics approval and also took care of the safety and comfort of the cat. Last year when the pandemic hit, I was trying to think how to bring the same level of excitement to online courses. I was teaching a special topics course on dynamics and control through household objects and we tried a couple of things. First, just like the previous experiments I mentioned, we used a variety of household experiments that students could do completely with household objects, but to carefully study and analyze engineering concepts. Whether it be using the carom board to study impulse momentum, friction or work energy or using a fidget spinner to study the gyroscopic effect and how speed and orientation affect the gyroscopic action. In addition, we also designed this kit that we called Tactus and shipped it to each and every student at their homes. This kit is based on the concept of HapKit, which was originally designed in Stanford. And this is used to study haptics experiments using control and dynamics concepts. We, however, redesigned the kit in-house, keeping in mind what was locally available, and more importantly, trying to make sure that the chance of failure at the students' homes were minimal. By and large, this was a great su success. I enjoyed it and I think the students also enjoyed themselves. And the feedback from the students were very encouraging and they appreciated the efforts and thought that went into this process. Now this semester, I'm again trying some innovations by bringing in industry projects as course projects in the course that I'm teaching. Let's see how that goes. Now finally, a shout out to all the students who persevered and are still persevering through the pandemic and the students who enthusiastically participated in many of these experiments. Thank you and happy learning.